Afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Been spending time putting back in the earthquake stations for Yellowstone. I have been watching what's going on, and they're having an earthquake swarm. The largest they're saying is a magnitude 2.7. No, it was much larger. Let me show you. Once again, lots of earthquakes. Look at them all marked in red. Yeah, there's a lot that they're not reporting. This is that supposed 2.7. I got the borehole 207, which is from the Madison River area. The borehole for the western boundary. Look at that. Borehole 208, which is Yellowstone Lake. And the one for Mary Lake. So I did this one here. Calculated the uh, size of the earthquake. I ended it just before the other two earthquakes. Let me show you. That came in I probably should have added those into it but without adding those this comes in as a magnitude 2.91 it was probably much larger there's the seismic signature this is what's called being clipped they clip it so that the seismic signature let me close this doesn't extend too far over the other lines okay and let's extract that yeah, these got rounded tops. It may look like when it's small, like um, tectonic and earthquakes. But see how they're rounded? This is volcanic earthquakes um, about three miles down. And there's lots of them going on. Let's take a look what it was showing when I pulled the files. This is the uh, pockets of melt. And we got uh, one, two, three lines on this one. Yeah, there's been a lot of earthquakes. They are reporting 38 earthquakes, and I believe that is within the last 24 hours. If I went to seven days, um, it would be 54. But, okay, so they're over here. The most recent, which I haven't put on my little map. Let me go to my map. Let's see. Okay, the magnitude 2.7. Yeah, that's probably a 3 if not greater. Okay, let's bring it out. Here we have the Madison River. I drew that out today. I put in all the earthquake stations. Um, Madison River station there. That would be this one right here. All right, so if this is a 2.7, um, which actually is probably a 3. Yeah, how big is that one? That one just came in a few minutes ago. It is a rocking and a rolling. Let's extract this and try and make this bigger. All right, borehole 207. Look at them all. Want to count them? <laughs> yeah, that's supposed to be a 2.7. I don't have the latest one, but look at them all. Yeah, I only went back about 24 hours, if that. Let me make this smaller. I don't know why, but for the western boundary, it stopped working. Couldn't pull the data. Same with Mary Lake. Couldn't pull the data. Um, I talked about this area in the past with Maple Creek, which I'm not downloading. How it was showing an area where it was trying to uh, come up through the ground. Cracks were forming. Well, we definitely got cracks forming now. This is also the area where the buffalo uh, were leaving the park about a month ago and they got hit by a truck crossing the road here and 13 of them had to be euthanized. Yeah, it started out as small earthquakes, magnitude 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and then I noticed they were steadily growing in size. As you know, earthquakes will create earthquakes along other fault lines. This here, when I pulled the files, um, this is all probably fault movement or yeah, tectonic movement. Because see, this here has sharpened points. All right, so let's go to this one right here. 
We'll extract that. Okay, we got sharpened and round points. Now this is the borehole for the Madison River area, which is, let's go there, over here by the Madison River Lake, right up over there. Those that watch my videos on a regular basis, the one I made yesterday, yeah, I talked about how Google Earth wiped out everything that I had. Here we have the Maple Creek monitor. Yeah, so I spent most of the morning putting the monitors, the earthquake stations in, drawing out some of the fault lines. Now up over here, this is the, uh, what I call Grizzly Lake Fault. And then this is other earthquakes that happened earlier today. A 1.4, a 1.0, and a 0 0.5. This 1.7, yeah, I believe, yeah, that was yesterday. They actually put it on the monitor. Is there going to be a, another large earthquake like they had in 1959 where 28 people were killed? I don't know, but I do know that these earthquakes are increasing in size. Is there dike intrusion going on there at the western boundary? Yeah, this is the monitor for western boundary. This is what the thumbnail is showing. They have all the data on the thumbnails, but you notice here, yeah, for some reason there was quite a few hours that didn't record. I don't know why. I don't have the western boundary marked on my map yet. I haven't been able to find the exact location so far today um, but this is it right here okay uh, Madison River up to the top right Denny Creek so let's go back to my map and see if we can see that's probably the western entrance right there so it's probably fairly close to where these earthquakes are happening there's Denny Creek I don't have the Madison River posted on here. And that's because the University of Utah doesn't have it available here on their Western, um, here on their website. Um, you can see we don't have the Western boundary. It goes down to, uh, Moose Creek, Idaho. Um, Purple Mountain, Mary Lake, all in, you know, in order alphabetically. I'll find it. And I'll put it on here, but for right now, I don't know why they don't have the uh, coordinates. I want to be as accurate as I can to the location. But once again, this is what it's showing. I'll go back to my monitor, the data that I do have. And I can't make it any bigger than that. Let's see. Let me pull this little section here. Yeah, see. Um, Either harmonic tremors or volcanic tremors let me go to this one here we'll extract that yeah like i said they can trigger other earthquakes let's make this bigger that one's got sharpened points see that there is sharpened points let me go to this one here oops right there those were the most recent ones that i downloaded yeah now those are rounded okay let's go to the spectrogram and take a look at these with the spectrogram that's really telling the two small ones that came in afterwards and Okay, let's continue down the line. Um, there's a real small one when I pulled the files. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah. All right, let's go to another monitor, see what we can see what's going on. This here is the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. Let's see what it was doing when I pulled the files. We'll go to the uh, so darn small, you can't see. Darn it. All right, let's try and make that bigger. 
Okay. Yeah, tectonic or fault movement, one or the other. We got a mixture of both. And then this is that probably 3.0. Yeah, popping of the ground, shaking of the ground, fault movement there. Okay. Yeah, whatever's going on, it's definitely shaking up the caldera. And, you know, pressure is definitely building. Let me go back in this one location. There is definitely past eruptions in this area. You can see the uh, formation of lava. Uh, that almost looks like a lava cone there. I wanted to take a look. I was hoping I could go to the road and take a look at the um, ground to see what kind of ground formation. Yeah, you can see we got past volcanic eruptions through that area. There goes my phone making its little farty noises. <laughs> my daughter put that on me for me on my phone. So when I get um, messages, um, yeah, it'll do that. Thought it'd be kind of funny. A little humor. Yeah. So I just wanted to look to see what what we got going on with the ground. What we might be looking at. Yeah, see we got more lava flows over here. Now this is looking south. I'm looking south. History has a way of repeating itself. So let's take a look over here. Well, we'll just keep an eye on it, or I will, and I'll be posting on Twitter um, the earthquakes as they come in today. Yeah, it's definitely not, not over yet. Um, yeah, if you're not following me on Twitter, um, please do that because I often put things on Twitter before I have a chance to make a video. You know, you just don't make a video and put it up. You got to do the editing and, um, yeah, all that stuff. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Always be prepared for a disaster. You know, when you do prepare, you buy extra food and extra water and medicine and, um, yeah, you're prepared as best as you can could it be um, an earthquake a volcanic eruption um a chemical explosion um right now it's the banks you know so you don't have to worry about not accessing your money because you already have the things put up and you hopefully have some cash on hand um anyways yeah god bless y'all and i'll talk to you later god bless y'all